Hello and welcome to Skynet Terminator Model. Today's episode, Cromarty. From the Sarah Connor Chronicles TV show, Cromarty was a Series 888 Terminator initially sent to the year 1999 to assassinate John Connor. Through a series of events, Cromarty was able to resume his mission in 2007, before being destroyed in Mexico. His body was given to John Henry as an interactive form. Cromarty was an advanced infiltration unit and thereby possesses the ability to mimic human behavior, which suggests that the T-888s are allowed to learn instead of read only. Unlike Vic, however, Cromarty has little interaction with people and therefore displays basic human behavior without a sense of personality. This is best displayed when Mary Bowie sarcastically asks him, Is that your only name, like Madonna? To which he answers, Madonna? Why? No, not knowing that he was being teased. His conversation with Charlie Dixon in Queen's Gambit also annotates this. He does, however, display rational and possibly merciful behavior when confronted by threats. In the pilot episode, he spares the students' lives instead of removing them as witnesses, with comically quipping, class dismissed. And later, he ignores a stunned SWAT team despite them armed with machine guns. In the episode What He Beheld, Kumardi holds Agent Ellison at gunpoint but decides to spare him for unknown reasons. These acts of mercy are countered on many occasions when he unnecessarily murders several people. For example, the garbage man who recovers his skull, the scientist who regrows his skin, the plastic surgeon, and the desk officer who refuses to help him search the school database for John Connor. His deadly demeanor was also evident in the episode Miss Ferguson is Ill Today, when he eliminates the officers of a Mexican police squad, which was a killer episode, by the way. Cromarty was a relentless assassin and pursued his targets at all costs, even going to such lengths as countering Skynet's own wishes. This is evident in Brothers of Nabbles where he eliminates a T-888 sent to kill and replace Agent Ellison. Though Ellison had been targeted for termination for unknown reasons, Cromarty saves his life because he thinks Ellison will lead him to the Connors. This event and the events in what he beheld suggests the possibility that Cromarty was capable of independent thought and could have potentially been a danger to Skynet. Cromarty also appears to possess a very limited emotional range. In the Brothers of Nobles, Cromarty displays an annoyance and frustration towards Jody, to the point of comically booting her from his car and leaving her in the street. He also shows mid-shock and perhaps even fear during his termination in Mr. Ferguson's Ill Today. Cromarty has also been shown to possess a dry sense of humor and often makes witty remarks for no apparent reason. Much later, Cromarty shows up again at the Connors' house, attacking Sarah and demanding John's whereabouts. Sensing that Sarah doesn't actually know where John is, Cromarty kidnaps her putting her in the trunk of his car while he drives to the Mexican police station where John is being incarcerated. After massacring every police officer in the station, save one, Cromarty briefly pursues John, who is escaping with James Ellison and Riley in a car. Later, Cromarty returns to the police station to pick up more ammo for his guns. He is then lured into a church by Ellison, who tells him all things are possible to him who believes. He is then sniped by Derek and continuously fired upon by he and Sarah. Kumari, wielding a 9mm and an HK-5, fires back at both of them. Cameron then appears behind him, wielding a Remington 780P combat shotgun, and fires into his head repeatedly. Her shots, as expected, are accurate and effective enough to disable Cromarty to the point of collapse. Disabled and at the mercy of his aggressors, the Connors, Agent Ellison, and Derek Reese gather around his body. John himself then approaches and fires a final shot into his head, taking him offline. Following the ambush, Sarah, John, Cameron, and Derek bury Cromarty and Sarah smashes his main CPU. However, James Ellison had dug up his body and turned it over to Katherine Weaver for analysis. It was revealed that Project Babylon had incorporated Cromarty's endoskeleton and processors into artificial intelligence that they were developing, which had been named John Henry. John Henry tells Ellison, who had taken on the role of his mentor, that he had learned about Cromarty 
Thank you for watching Skynet Terminator Model. Special thanks to the Terminator Wiki for all information you heard today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. If you have, thank you. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.